jumping Hello, space everybody. frogs. <laughs> yes, jumping space frogs is what it is. We've got Rick Reckless's um, Kislev, which used to be Slam. We have got uh, Chuster's 84, which is Yaka Steers alt. And with Pro Elves, and we've got Muppet Pac-Man and Purple Chest in the booth. Hello. Of course, Hello. Rick gets a Blitz. Who else would get a Blitz but Rick? Jeez. Yeah, he hasn't hit Moranian yet, though. It's, it's on its way, actually. What he does have is a lot of enormously offensive um, Kislev, Stroke Slam, Stroke, whatever you want to call them. And they're coming for your ball, and they're doing so every single turn. Oh, I don't like this at all. He's lit for a 1D. Don't know what's going on, Jim. Help. Oh. Dive and catch. Let's go. Oh, yes, of course. Yes, very nice. Oh. And this one gets it away from any tackle zones. Like. Yeah. Oh, that was very nice. That was a real nice dive and catch. Catch on the blitz. And he's also had catch. So he had a real on it. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. And he, he did catch. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen Davin Catch being used so well. Yeah, that was very nice. It's very creative. But I mean, he's played, let's face it, a lot of games on this team. Yeah, I didn't like this. This is the, this is the bad part, right? Mighty Blow, going for the 1D on him, yeah, and facing that. Oh, he's showing the kids off how to leap. He's like, look, we, we can do it too. Yep, so 3D with Tackle. Hmm. And picks it also. Cool. Thought he might have just picked it up with this guy and like run away, right? Stay away from the kids there. That's yep. you can't get the ball if you're away from them. I see a DP. Oh, he's got a DP. Oh boy. DP pro was so tasty. Oh my god, he's killed him. Yeah. He's straight up dead. He made a nice move, but he died. Does he have a niggle? Apple yeah. worked. On bribe failed. The bribe failed. <laughs> right. Wow! Huge equity shifts within a single action there. Yeah. So should have mentioned the inducements here. Rick's team is like 2,400 TV. So Yak had a wizard and a bribe and <laughs> Uber is for like 260 or whatever, and Moranian for 230 or whatever. So there was a lot of stuff, a lot of inducements in the play. All the money. This is a nice recovery here from the act, wasn't it? Got away, got rid of the recovery and the uh, and the killer. He got stripped of his balls. But, but Rick still has his his sacker. And then his other sacker. <laughs> and then, and then, and then <laughs> the other one that's quite good sacker. Yeah, this is the best sacker though, isn't it? Add four. Rackles, yes, he's amazing. Yeah, it's fabulous. Got all these leaps just working. Yeah. How do you beat this? It's hard, yeah. isn't it? You just need Very to have difficult. a roll bandit, basically. Cause... And I mean, the stars need to find to get removals. Yep. Yeah, everyone has. Everyone on the team has leap and very long legs. That's the that's the gimmick. They will leap on a 3+, plus or 2+, plus if they get roll plus edge. Yeah. Or if they're one of the strength 2 catchers that starts with 4 edge. And yeah. diving catch, as we've already seen. Yeah. Although nothing else. They just don't start with enough skills. It does yeah. mean they continue, theoretically, to grow into something lovely. Because blitzers can still, at 4 or 5 skills, be taking you know really useful every turn stuff. So can catch us, but they just don't live long enough to. This leap is, is just what you need, isn't it, against Rick, to be fair. The 2 plus leap with it from the Adge 5. Yep. So all of Rick's diamond tackle is kind of pointless against him, and he can always leap to get the ball back. Get the ball on the did he, did he, what did he roll on the first dice? Of... Both down. He doesn't have block. He could have blocked it. Yeah. He used the reroll and didn't need to. Yeah. Yeah, he rolled a skull and a ball down. 
and it's a blitzer, so he's got block. <laughs> yes. And he's a guard Just liner, a guard so he doesn't have block. Yeah. That wasn't a best decision then. It's yak, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Just, just the one D here rolls a panel, easy as you like. We just need a well, that's definitely a good answer to this problem. Yeah, he's got straight, so can you still pick up? Uh, yeah, this guy's. Yeah, that guy's jump up because he's a blitzer. Jump up, so he's got all the space in the world to pick it up, and <laughs> it's one. -nil. It's one nil. <laughs> the team is stupid, isn't it? <laughs> it is. I love it. It's no, that is a giant, super intelligent space frog dressed in the suit of a Russian Cossack. <laughs> yeah. It's com complicated. <laughs> and also a giant space frog that no longer exists. Yeah. Well, now it's giant. It wasn't giant when, when the rules no. were written. Yes, it was Second just a space frog. Mm. Now they are not space frogs anymore. They are now giant. Mages that may have still originated in space, it's not 100% clear to me. Yeah, yeah, everything in Warhammer originated in space, basically. They were created by the old ones, weren't they? I'm sad that the bear isn't just a giant toad, though. Yes. Well, of course, it's technically actually a croxigal. Yeah. You know, again, Halloween costume of a bear with a chain, which is prehensile. Which is very clever. <laughs> oh, there's a cast. Ooh, that's a big cast. Mr. Strength 2 Blitzer isn't with him at the moment. Oh, he's, he's still fine. <laughs> yeah, he shouldn't have been existing, but yeah. he did. He still does a job. Interesting that he's going really? into range again. Maybe he's just hoping Rick will roll bad dice. Like, hoping Rick yeah. rolls bad dice is a pretty good hope, to be fair, because, you know, Rick is going to go for these moves all the time. Yes, he, he absolutely is. He's coming again. So. I mean, yes, and it also brings the pieces you want under the, the gun to be fired at, to some degree. Mm. Are we using a star just to mark the bear? Is that? <laughs> Looks like he, it, yeah. best he, used? he took the block, but yeah, he he was going to hit the bear, but then when this when this guy wasn't powered, he just he just right. he just hit the. Well, it has to stand him. firm, so it's probably likely not to get two dice. Yep. And he's being cancelled. Well, there we are. Use. That's Prince Moron gone. Great. <laughs> Prince Moron. Yeah, we always, we always called him Prince Moron as well. Funny man. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, with so much money, you've just got everything, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, but that... Yeah, there is another. Like, he's also got a wizard, he's got a bride, he's got... I don't know what else. Maybe some Look, here come Rick. Oh. oh, fails to go for it. But Rick has like five euros, so we go everything. Yeah, but he's got to fail eventually, hasn't he? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Yeah, if he just he's there, he didn't get the power. He just got the strip ball. Mm. Now you or I would think, right? Now we reinforce, put lots of pressure on. No, Rick's coming for that ball. Something <laughs> is going to come for that ball. Here it comes. Yeah. <laughs> Because, of course, it is. Yeah. He does them one it. at a time, but I'm pretty sure he's going to do them all. And leaps away and moves away afterwards. And not content with that, everything else is coming too to see if it can help. Oh, look, there's the fail we talked about into a stun. Yeah. However, Rick's got the ball again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, headline. <laughs> so Rick has your ball. <laughs> He's still got reserves. There's a wrestle stripper to get it. And three dice. I think there's three dice. It, it has to be. You can't lose another one at this point. Well, he rolled. There was a double skull in there. If he, <laughs> if he'd only gone for two. So he strips it, but doesn't manage to smash his face. Yeah, there is actually. That could be a problem. <laughs> but how do you get it safe? Oh, okay, we wasn't going to the block out. I don't know how far he... Yeah, I thought it was the block area then. No. You put in the reroll for that and failed. Dodging before just punching with hubris. I'm not sure about that. Oh, oh, there's bear on the ball. Here comes, comes the bear. bear. Here comes a bear. 
Now, I mean, when you think of the bear as a croxigore, it, it suddenly isn't surprising that they're as reliable and as sometimes dominant as they can be. I mean, they still have all the bad guy, big guy problems, but... So does a crox, but he's still pretty good. Yeah, exactly. Well, they're the same, so yes. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, only the push, though. Rerolls in. Uh, and puts it. Uh, he did need a power on that one. That wasn't very... Mm. There's no one good enough to get the ball there. Yeah, that was... So he's finally lost. Oh, oh. he's rolled a one. He's got oh, to re-roll this out of rerolls wow. now, yeah. But obviously, wasn't it to get away from the tail? Yep. He's got sidestep because the blitzer. He started with tail, sidestep. Chain, so. chain tail. Yes, chain tail. <laughs> How do you beat Rick's team? Hope that he keeps coming for the ball and rolls back, basically. There's still a wizard on board, isn't there, somewhere? Yeah, yeah, yeah Yak's got a wizard. Also, uh, if he fails a leap, he still takes an armor roll, so he could still just kill his own team. Yeah, you, you really just got to hold the catchers aren't quite vulnerable if you can get on top of them somehow. Yeah, they're I mean, There are ways, it's doable. But, like, it's really Hell fucking... Hell of a team, though. Yeah, it's yeah. really fucking hard to, like, defend the ball in any kind of way. <laughs> like, <laughs> you can't reasonably defend the ball, can you? Um, because it's always going to be... If Whip decides he has a 2 plus sweep into 3 plus sweep into 2 dice in the ball. So yeah. he has that guard... Uh, well, he's got strippers, and he's got strong ones, and he's got tacklers, and he's got wrestlers, and he's got a positive outlook and a sunny disposition. He's coming <laughs> for your ball. Yeah. Now, I would say that's possibly exploitable, but the rest of his team is so developed now that it's so dangerous for any other team to face. Yeah, that's the thing. He's just literally hope he, hope he rolls back. I mean, this is quite a nice formation, actually, isn't it? Having a sidestep yeah, there bad. and then this, this big Oh, thing. look, there's the guard. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, it's still just a leap for 2D on the ball. So, yeah. so, so as much as he thought of this really nice formation to make it difficult... And he re it for the bar. Rick has come in and pulled it again. <laughs> no recovery, no recovery. Though. Nah, that's the perfect bounce, isn't it? Mm. We say no recovery, but um Yeah, that's a, get surfed on. Rick. There we are. Yeah. Oh misses it. The bounce has oh, actually no. promoted the ball into a <laughs> slightly worse spot. That was very dangerous though. Like he was gonna get was. surfed there, wasn't he? No, he's got side steps. Yeah, he's yeah. he sidestepped. There's three but... spaces. I think he's gonna get surfed. If he if he if he commits to the surf, then you're pretty fine as Rick, aren't you? I don't know. <laughs> I would rather not be served. Mean, <laughs> no, we just grab this ball and bugger off, don't we? And we're, we've got probably a... That's grabbing You can't it. get very far, though. No. That might be far enough. But this guy could have picked it up, couldn't he? I would, I would have He's liked on to have picked it up. He's on diving tackle. Yeah, He's on yeah, one of the many yeah. blitzes which he also wanted to serve. He's got which he can't now serve. has to be <laughs> He's just got loads of skills. We have to remember all the skills. Yeah, all the skills. It's like I said, I mean, slam blitz is because the blitz are starts so expensive, but they just get better and better and better and better. Yep. Everything you add on them can just really help. I mean, they gloat up, of course, because that's a lot of skills, but it's not like you suddenly reach a point where you're going, oh, I suppose I take shadow. <laughs> no. I mean, it gets to a point where this is a nice you're giving up so much TV anyway, you don't care. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think that uh -huh. one was uh, was an equity shift, and that's pretty much all you can do, I think, is just hope he fails some of the stuff he tries. Hope he fails, and obviously that boss that was great, like, that could yeah. just kill going into the crowd and bounce towards Rick's bear. Mm. And what you're really hoping for, I mean, and knowing Rick, it is possible, he, he sometimes does the safe stuff first. <laughs> but he's also very prone to seeing something really interesting and trying a one in nine first if it's going to completely unlock the position. Yeah. So you're just hoping something like that fails and leaves you a whole turn exposed, which we have seen happen. Yeah. Yeah, it's game. But, I mean, this will be one one of the half. It looks like, but I say that there is one turning possibilities, but. 
My gamble is 1 1 at the half, but yeah. Wow. Do you really think the, the elves can get. Uh, get, you know, just one more, for example, and then stop Rick? <laughs> That's the question, isn't it? He does have a whiz, though, yeah, he does have the whiz. He does like, like defense more than they like offense, really. So. Yeah, a bit like vampires. They often are better off just trying to bang it in and then defend, don't they? With yeah. whatever they've got there. Oh, there's the score for it. We, we've got a plan. <laughs> he loves his score threats, doesn't he? Oh, here we go. Ah, and he rolled a one. Saving it for the one turn. Oh, into a stun. Does that make another stall possible? Uh, for turn eight, yeah, we could, could stall and not score. <laughs> I'd forgotten that he was turned over. I thought he was responding to Rick, but no, he was turned over and then doing a second drive on his own yeah. offense, wasn't he? So Rick does get the one turn try. Yeah, it feels like there's been a turn over every turn. Yeah, I see. Sure. I mean that that is, that is again like how kind of how kind of Kislev play, and especially when yep. when Rick plays them. You know, like he goes like they're already a kind of hyper offense team well or can be played hyper offense and and rick definitely does play them hyper hyper offense <laughs> well, I mean, on any given turn they could definitely take your ball away yeah it's a question of how difficult it is and is it that you know is it going to appeal to rick well the answer to the second one is always yes <laughs> yeah. thank you tony <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the last game was rough, wasn't it? Well, he's putting sidesteppers on the line to stop the to stop the one turn. I'm not sure I would bother, honestly. The movement seven. I don't like getting getting mighty blowed and wrecked. He's got a reserve as well, so the, you're getting giving up a foul. Don't like it. I would have just uh, and it wait. Oh, just just backline, just fucking backline. I say. <laughs> Do you really think he's going to one turn here? He'll find a way. I think he'll have a try. And I mean, that's also one of the things. Is it, it maybe stops you getting hit so much because... Oh no, looks like he is just doing the hit. I mean, he's getting fouled now, isn't he? Which is definitely... Okay, well, Messi gets fouled. No. Mighty blow him and get the foul. Yep, yeah, he's just... Um, I don't know who's better to... I guess to get rid of a wee bit? Like, I'm not saying that Rick wouldn't know how to do it, but do you really, would you really be scared of a one turn here? Like, you know, he's only moved seven. It's a lot of effort. It is an not. enormously difficult thing to do. Yeah, I would not be scared of it. I'm more scared of the foul, though. Yeah. Like, these two are so good, both of them. I guess, yeah, they give foul a blitzer, don't you? They are. One has to be fouled. It's compulsory. Yeah. That blitz is copying our team. We have to get rid of him. <laughs> yeah. He's, t he's stolen our USP. <laughs> hey. <laughs> wow. Jim Powell. Never two, like two, one, one. It was a double Jim Powell, yeah. Two, two, one, one. Hideous. Hideously bad. That guy looked like he was riding the bear. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's doable, but it's a lot of dice. It's a lot of dice. I, I would I would just I don't think it was worth exposing like all well, like your two best players, like he's, Yak's pretty much only got two good players and not a lot else and I don't think it was worth exposing him. He's got that leak nerves of still Sean's guy, I've just noticed. Yeah, the, the, these two are just great. So, I would, mm. I would want to protect them, yeah, this, this fucking thrower. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> No, that's well, that's why he didn't do it, Blob Skills. But I just wouldn't have put them on the line. I would have just put the three worst players on the line and say, "Well, if you can score a one turn, good luck to you." It's just a lot of rolls to make. Like that's the thing. Even even if you know what to do, it's just 
the, the rolls that have got to go right there, all the times you've got to roll pushes, is, is just hard. And obviously their leaps would have, like, let them fit in things which would have made it, like, blitz from angles and stuff to make things easy and stuff, but still, it's just, it is just literally physically hard to roll the dice. It's the thing. And, um, one wrong move from Rick and he's probably screwed it all over. Yeah. Like everyone can make mistakes. Yeah, he could screw it up. He could screw it up. But uh, even if he doesn't, like, he's got to roll four pushes. Yeah. And each one's about 55%, isn't it? So that's already looking low odds. I don't know how you're getting that call, I really don't know how you're getting that. <laughs> that's assuming he's what packed them. Uh, that's just a really weird thing to come out with. Tom. Is that Borkaya the strength to get? I, I do not. I do not agree. That that's true at all. But there you go, it doesn't matter. Jim. What? Is the ball carrier the strength of two blitz? No, he's, de he's dead. Strength two blitz is all dead. we got. Oh, okay. Um, I was scared. I was like, is he carrying strength two versus IG for a week? <laughs> no, no. He's in them. He's got guard on the back of the Venger bus, and he's got a drive. So Rick going to uh, go on to grind this down, but I mean, this is a bit dangerous against the Wiss, isn't it? Oh, we've got a bear level, amazing! I cannot believe you there, Con. I, I, I just cannot believe that at all. <laughs> Ces joueurs sont tout proches. Le combat paraît inévitable. There is still enough of these pro L's with a whiz that I think banging it in early is definitely the the favourite here. Yeah, and then you get back on defence, which is what you like, isn't it? Especially if you're Rick. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it, <laughs> like maybe maybe you could see me or the uh, trying to stall out, or, but Rick loves fucking going at people with these. With his Kislev on defense, doesn't he? So I would have thought he would have. Like, I mean, I think I would have banged it in, but then you know, it's it's tricky, right? Because my strategy against the against them with Proils would be to like just make it a scoring match because you are better at like two turns in there, aren't you? Because you've yes. got the uh, you've got the the nurse steel and everything, and the thrower and everything. You've got loads of re rolls, and they they haven't got re rolls for their things. And, uh, so yeah, I, th I think that is the way to beat like vampires and Kislev with elves, is just to out elf them in like you know a kind of high scoring. Um... Oh, I think you might be right, but I still think that Rick is probably his most effective on def on defense rather than offense. Yeah, but it's 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 not easily done. These pro elves, there's the core of a good team still there. Yeah. I mean, they've got two players. Oh, wow, there's the fireball. It's five players. He got three. Oh, he's killed! He's killed the Ange for Wow. Him. Again, he already echoed it. Oh my god, he's got four out of five. <laughs> Holy shit. Pretty good fireball. Wow. Blitz the strength to get away and easy to. Well, now being elves, we just steal this ball, don't we, and bang yes. it out to another elf. Yes. And then Rick gets on gets on <laughs> defense again, but this time uh, without without scoring. Is he not the big? Um, I guess plus movement can be good. I was going to pass it to somebody. Or... I was going to pick up on the guy that moved next to the ball and just hand it to the plus movement. 
I don't know, you want to get away from this Rackler, don't you? The, like this guy, yeah. I think you just want to get away from Rick's entire team if you possibly can, yes, and that's yeah. what we're trying to do. <laughs> yeah, you're getting away from the whole team, but spe especially, like, spe specifically this guy is just a monstrosity, isn't he? He's an absolute monstrosity. This is a horrendous... He's the best player. lineman you will ever have on any team. <laughs> He's up there, isn't he? He's a hell of a lineman. Um, so yeah, you definitely want to get out of range of him. Then he can just score next turn, can't he? If he wants. Did we just try a little um, stab or something there? Or was that a block that went so to a block? It was a block. It was a one dice. Uh, one dice with... I don't remember his name. Hubris Rakarth. Now, I don't believe the rig's just screening this. There must be something that can come. Uh, this this Rackle. Yeah. But there's no recovery, is there? Because the only the catcher is here, or all the way over there. It's too uh, far can away. this guy recover? Never mind. He's moved him. I mean, on a power, it bounces out. That could lead it to go anywhere. But he's moving everyone first. Yeah. He is. Wait, he's gone the other way. Wow. He Rick. isn't blitzing the ball. Rick didn't blitz the ball. Now I've seen everything. Me too. <laughs> was it somehow not possible? No, it really was, wasn't it? Yeah. This is like seeing a man eat his own head. Oh, he's not Ooh, scoring. he's dropping back. He's not scoring. This is controversial. He could be punished for this, couldn't he? Yeah. I think I like just banging that in there and then see what happens. I think I do. I'm not sure how you expect to not do so. Mm. I guess he Gains. doesn't want to make it a scoring match. No, but again, if you can stay away from the Rackle, maybe. Let, let's have a look. Where's the Rackle? There's one there and one in the center. Yep, so he, he is completely out of range of this Rackler. It's turn it's 11. One, no? Is he saying that he can stay... He can keep that ball for four more turns off this Rick Restless team that can come wherever it wants? Rick Restless. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm not convinced. I mean, that we'll other see. is in range easily. Yeah, but it, it, the other Rackler isn't anywhere near as dangerous as he goes with three. No, I think there. this turn it's probably going to be fine. My question remains over how fine does it remain? Yeah. Over many turns. Well, th there's quite a lot of this half left. Well, that's a good question, isn't it? Rick has been replaced by someone else. <laughs> it's the only answer. Elliot's, Elliot's taken over. <laughs> I'm playing conservatively. <laughs> wow. Has there been a leap this turn? Nope. No. Call the cops. Unless this guy okay. is there. we go. There we go. Phew! Let's get Bob. So he's got a blitzer on there, hasn't he? This blitzer isn't ta isn't diving tackling anybody. Oddly, whilst he's put quite a lot of pressure on every other elf, um, the ball area itself remains resolutely unmolested. Yep. And so they're dropping further back. Yeah, yeah, just stay away from the... Oh, no, he's in range of this guy. Okay, I don't like that. One more, one more one square. One more square, yeah. I would stay... Unless he's getting blitzed. Is he getting blitzed? Well, even if he does... Oh, he got down and tackled. Um, <laughs> oh, God, that was a fuck-up from Yak, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that wasn't the right dodge. He had to be out of range of this guy. Because he's just coming for your balls. He's like Moradam in the JFW. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing will stop him. Yeah. He's got a one-track mind. <laughs> and it's balls. <laughs> scared of this thrower. He needs to hit him about him. Yeah. Only going for the 1D. But I mean it's a 2 plus, isn't it? In my humble opinion, one of the best commentators two plus, two plus, two plus. I've ever heard in my life. He fails the GFI. It's the strip. I mean, if he made it in two deaths, he has less recovery. 
Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's a brutal place for it to land. And there we are. He's still going for it, of course, because... Yeah, of course he could have freed. He could have freed this guy up, couldn't he, on a push? Like, I like that. If you're going to do that leap to recover, then do this block to get him for the assist, right? I think. And it also stops this... Uh, well, it doesn't stop the edgy leap, but it makes it so he has to leap. Yeah. Remember when I said there was definitely no way this pulling back and stalling it out would go wrong? <laughs> yeah, it did. Yeah. It did go wrong, didn't it? It nearly lost him the game. But, However, he relied on it's all going to be Gucci again. Yeah, just rely on Rick on that. Like if Rick fa fails those three pluses, like he's going to make yep. a bunch of three pluses, isn't he? That's the thing. Like you can't stop him attempting those three pluses. No, you can't really. Count and way too many are two pluses, but uh, yeah. some of that problem has been dealt with. Yeah. Yeah, the, you can you can deal with it. You can deal with the two plus guy by just getting away from him. Basically, that's that's your defense against him, isn't it? You can keep him out of range with elves, not so much with any other team. No. But, <laughs> but with elves, you, you can try and keep this guy at bay. Well, at the moment it looks like working. This, um, well, I mean, it, it's Rick. He'll find a way to get something onto this ball, no doubt. This bear has kept all the uh, star players from doing anything. Yeah. Oh. Now there is sidestep. Oh, he's oh. failed another three plus. Does this guy have sidestep? No. Well. This looks bad news for him, doesn't it? <laughs> Fuck being debauchy at this point in time. <laughs> no, I thought that was the blitz. No, no, he wants to pow him first. Well, both down. Then he can do with the wrestle. Because if he'd powed him. Debauchy! Cheers! <laughs> yeah, yeah, Kislev are unfortunately dead with that rule set though, aren't they? The the, the team that would like to use multiple rerolls the most can't do it. Does he foul this guy? He's still a big threat. He has dive attack or jump up. Yeah, the jump up is the, is the killer, isn't it? Oh, so this big. way he's still got to dodge as well as leap. That works too. These three um, these aren't really doing anything, are they, these two guys? Because it's he was always gonna he was gonna have to leap and oh, dodge yeah. anyway. Needed a uh, fifth guy on the left. Yeah, needed like yeah. Guys here or something. Uh, can he blitz the ball? Or is he one square shot? Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI. He can one dice the ball. Yeah. I think <laughs> that can one dice what we're what? doing. Oh, this what? is Rick, strange what place to. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. Gets there with the two die, but and he succeeds in pushing him in. And now it's what? Two turns to get back, or is that down to one? That was the wrong direction. Yeah, that was that was a that was a bad mistake. I mean, could have been costly. Like that was really bad, wasn't it? Because that was four plus three plus dodge as he did. Yeah. He added an extra four plus dodge. Yeah. He just needed one free plus and he was and then the twos for the GFS. Um, so yeah, there's one turn for Rick. Now I'd put the side steps on the line because now it's to win the game, hundred yes. percent. And well, there we are. I guess that's how you get it done. The stall did work in the end. I yeah. mean, it, it, it meant he had to keep scrambling around and recovering it, but <laughs> in the end, the elves just that extra agility, I guess, meant they could kept in in a continuously loose mauled ball we're more <laughs> that, able to keep on top of that situation and the extra movement to stay away from the uh, scariest pieces yeah yeah that was the thing like he, he okay anyone can sack it but this guy is the guy who can sack it isn't he with two plus leaps yeah you know strength three right and dodge yeah. easy dodge you know yeah this and just is... quietly this pro elf team isn't bad is it i mean it's very lightweight but that means yeah. it's usually going to carry a whiz with it. And yeah, it's got yeah. some tools. I mean, it's like any AV7 elf team. It is bang outable. But Yeah. I mean, really all it has is the two players. But, yeah, that's kind of all it needs in this kind of match. 
and I guess against anyone else, it's got a wizard. So yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's not a lot there, but what's there is quite solid. But, like, I wouldn't fancy this against your dwarves. <laughs> You know. No, I, I think I have a go at that. Um, unless he got a whiz, in which case, you know, pro elves can score, score at will. They've got the speed. And there's all the uh, orc teams about. Maybe it's good enough. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Scroll, yeah, set up for the riot. Actually, set up for the riot. Yeah, it's a good show. So yeah, <laughs> MVP for Hubris. <laughs> he did so well, he's kept that bear. Where I'm not even sure it? Rick did a load wrong. It no. just, it just didn't both. work this time. Yeah, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Yeah. Yeah, he, he didn't really get shitted on the dice. Look at this, 26 out of 30 GFIs. He made so many G like you. He, he does play it so aggressively, doesn't he? Like the leaps were 78, really which he but, did plenty of three pluses. You know, and yeah, if they were all twos, it'd be 83. So he actually had yeah, really so that's great dice probably bonus. above the curve slightly. Yeah, I think that's not massively. Yeah, like, sometimes though. Yeah, same yeah I think so. I mean, I don't think it was a classic example of just constantly rolling, mauling Blood Bowl yeah. with the ball in constant jeopardy, which is fun, but it's, um, you know, if you if you do that against an elf team, you've got to think the elf team have a shot because they've got AG4 everywhere. Yeah, yeah. That's and probably point. more movement than you. Yes, almost certainly, at least on some pieces. Yeah. Though pro elves aren't super fast. No, they're not, are they? The linos are slow, but they've got the catches. Yeah, the, the catches are movement eight. That's incredible. Yeah. Um, uh, I guess the biggest mistake was the last dodge for the one dice where he leaped out into more tackle zone. Yeah, yeah, that was a definite mistake. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like just categorically, categorically a mistake, wasn't it? But yeah, I, I guess you could say maybe he's, you know, maybe he didn't need to come quite so hard. But then, <laughs> <laughs> but then he's not Rick Reckless for a reason. Yeah, you know, yeah, on another day it works, doesn't it, you know? so. Well, I mean, it's, it's also the style that's got him here with that team. That's how he knows how to use that team. That's what that team is built for. Yeah. yeah. It's not built to sort of, you know, control and stymie teams. It's built to come for the ball and keep coming and then get scores and then turn it around and have another go. And hope you're annoyed enough to, like, drop the ball for him. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah Yak, Yak dealt with it very well, didn't he, to be fair, you know? so. Yeah, he did. So yeah, well, well. Some very good coaching on both sides. I mean, the dice I do think favoured Yak at, at key moments, but that's, you know, if you need to get lucky against a much bigger team, I'm not going to criticise you if you're then lucky against a much bigger team. He did some things that had that possibility, yeah, including yeah. risking more on, on just the bear. <laughs> and the bear said, "I will eat you." <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, and then the, obviously the crazy reroll that he didn't need to reroll in the first reroll. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, plenty of people have done that. Yes. Against, like dwarfs, like, oh, this runner must have blocked because all dwarfs have blocked. Oh, doesn't. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I re rolled a pow because I didn't realize a push I'd done made it two die in my favor and I thought I had to do a two die red. <laughs> and when he came, up, he came up with a pow and a skull, I thought, oh no, he'll pick the skull and forgot it was my choice. <laughs> re that, was, that was in a chalice quarter final. Yeah, I uh, that. But, you know, these things happen. We make mistakes. It's a game. Yeah. We're only human. Absolutely. Yeah. And, I mean, there is pressure in these games. I mean, I joke about it because I don't really feel it. It's, you know, I'm so old. I've been around the block. Um, but, I mean, there is. People do struggle to coach at their best and have their clearest thoughts, knowing the pressure is on. Yeah. So there you go. What a match. Congratulations, Yak. Commiserations, Rick. Thank you very much, Muppet and PC. Pleasure. Oh, good. Absolutely. Well, the Rick reign is over. Yeah, unbelievable. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.